Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today I was surprised to learn that it looks like Ubisoft might be nerfing barbed wire in Rainbow Six Siege. According to some people that were playing on the technical test servers, they discovered that not only does it not take as long to destroy this, it only requires now apparently two melee hits to drop it, but also you move significantly faster when running through one of them when you are on offense. Now, the question that you guys are probably thinking right now, and what I was thinking, is why? This will be a direct nerf to the defensive team because this is the only way to deal with people that are trying to rush onto the objective. Not only that, but just barbed wire in general is an amazing gadget on defense. It gives you good intelligence. If you're paying attention to your audio, you can hear the rustling of the enemy when they're moving on through. It significantly slows down their movement so that you can catch them by surprise and hopefully get an easy headshot while they're exposed. And just in general, this is an awesome gadget to use on a wide array of different operators. And so the question we have is, why are they doing this if it is such an impactful gadget? Well, I think we may have just answered that question, and that is the fact that it is so powerful right now. More often than not, if an operator has access to barbed wire, they're gonna choose it over every other option. I mean, every once in a while, you might see someone pick up the ballistic shield if they're trying to go for a specific tactic, but usually in general, like 90% of the time, I just pick that number at random, uh, but a majority of the time, people are gonna be picking up barbed wire because it is that beneficial for the defensive team. That still doesn't answer the question though, why is Ubisoft doing this now, and why do they feel like the defensive side needs such a significant nerf. If they wanted to balance out the different gadgets that you have available, well, why not just buff the ballistic shield or the other gadgets at our disposal so that they're more in line with the barbed wire? Uh, Rainbow Six Siege's community manager chimed in on this very topic and basically said that we don't have the full picture. Y yes, in a vacuum, yes by itself, this is a nerf to the defensive side, but it sounds like, at least according to his little comments, that they have a lot more in store and changes that they're going to be adding on in, especially with the new operators that are going to be coming, that should balance everything out. And so with that comment in mind, I have a suspicion that things are not as bad as people are making them out to be. Remember a couple of days ago when there was that leak about Caltrop, one of the new operators that was going to be added into Siege? Well, one of the other things that we learned about was that apparently he was going to have access to a gas mine and a concussive mine. Well, what if those mines weren't just exclusive to that one operator? What if they do the same thing that they did with the impact grenade and they actually made this another option for a wide array of different operators? And so instead of just having access to maybe the ballistic shield and the barbed wire, maybe there's going to be another option where you can also use gas mines or a concussive mine. If that is true, and this is speculation by the way, like we're just basing it off of what Ubisoft has told us and what we learned in that recent leak a couple of days ago, but if it is true, that should have a significant impact on the way that we play defense. Instead of having barbed wire to deal with Ash, you could lay down a concussive mine. She's not gonna have to deal with that slow effect at all, but she charges on in and all of a sudden her entire screen just goes white because she's stunned. That should be an easy kill for anyone on defense who's paying attention. It's gonna make a really loud noise, people are gonna know exactly where she is, and instead of just having it where she can just back out or shoot you because normally a barbed wire, she can still retaliate, this will probably be a situation where she can't retaliate and the only thing that she can hope for is that she's able to run out of the room while she is completely stunned and blinded. You could also throw a gas mine into the mix, place that down, and while once again it doesn't slow down the enemy's movement per se, if they activate it, there's now going to be a huge plume of gas everywhere. They're going to take a fair amount of damage. They're going to be at a disadvantage and either they have to charge on in or back away. If you put a lot of those things around the map, if they're not observant of them and they don't realize that they're there, basically you now have more smokes on defense, which is, a, is one of the best operators at stopping people who are trying to make that last ditch rush at the end. That could also be very powerful. The other thing we have to consider is Caltrop the operator himself. One of the theories that people have is that his gadget is going to be a buffed up version of barbed wire. Well, if they nerf barbed wire and they, they then make in a buff version, he might be one of the best operators to deal with people that are just trying to rush the objective. Maybe Ubisoft thought if they brought in the operator Caltrop, if they didn't make any changes to the normal barbed wire, that it might be too much to deal with for offense. If offense has to wade through normal Caltrop, his gadget, which slows them down, and then also has to go through like eight other barbed wire just to get onto the objective, that might just be too much. 
And so in general, I'm really curious to see what Ubisoft is going to be doing with this upcoming DLC. Yeah, it kind of stings right now that Barbed Wire might be getting a nerf, but if they do bring in these other aspects that we talked about, it may not be so bad. And so let me know what you guys think about these changes. Are you on board with them? Do you think that it's the worst idea ever and Ubisoft should just revert it back to what it was? Do you think that this is a great thing for Siege? Give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, another thing that's causing a bit of a controversy amongst the community is that Ubisoft is also entertaining the idea that when you run outside of the building on defense, instead of having that two second window where the enemy will then be notified of your exact location, it just does it instantly. Now, this does have its pros and cons. The pros to it, of course, is that this will significantly reduce people jumping outside of buildings and to try to get those flanks off on people. This will also make it a lot more difficult for people that are trying to go for those spawn kills. On the other side of the coin, though, this has been a key component of Siege since the very beginning. There was actually a five second window when the game first released before offense was notified that you ran outside. Of course, that has been nerfed, it was retracted, but even still, it's been a valid tactic since the very beginning. There is something to say about running out and trying to flank the enemy. If you notice a Blackbeard is outside of a window instead of trying to deal with his shield, this was especially prevalent when uh, he was overpowered, the only way that you could deal with Blackbeard back then was to actually go outside and flank him. This was something the developers talked about at the very beginning. Like they said, one way to deal with him is to flank him and run outside the building. And so it's gonna be really interesting to see how Ubisoft is gonna be handling these changes. If they're dead set on punishing people that are jumping outside on defense, one smaller step that isn't as severe is that instead of giving everyone on offense an exact location of where you are, kind of giving you wall hacks, well, one thing that they could do is that as soon as you jump outside, well, it just tells everyone on offense that someone has done so, but doesn't ping your exact location until two seconds later. This way, offense is notified of what's going on. They realize what's happening, even if they don't hear someone jump or vaulting or breaking down a barricade, this will be much more obvious, but it doesn't kind of give them that I win button that they know exactly where you are at all times. I think that might be a better way of handling it. And so let me know what you guys think about this one as well. Personally, I don't think that anything needs to be changed, but I've also played this game for a really long time and I know all the spots. Someone that who's brand new to Rainbow Six Siege doesn't know where people are gonna jump out and this can be infuriating. Like this could be one of the reasons why they don't play anymore because it is that obnoxious. And so do you like the idea? Do you think that this is pushing things too far? Do you think that they should go more of a middle ground like we talked about? Give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I thought this would be an interesting topic to talk about because this will have a pretty dramatic way that we play Siege in the future, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy.